Hi guys, Jay Smith here. Welcome to the Ask Golf Night channel and welcome to Callaway AI Artificial Intelligence Smoke Irons. And it gets worse when it comes to naming convention because they have got the HL and also the Max Fast as well. That will be in a separate review. Chances are I'll probably do that in a, uh, a single review for the do it for two of them. Uh, this one's going to be for the AI Smoke only. Um, so we have some technology in this. Of course we have. We have AI Face. We all love the AI Face. Effectively Callaway's way of letting a computer design where certain parts of the face need to be thinner or thicker to try and maximize ball speeds from all over the face. You have got a dynamic sole. The changes when it comes to the leading edge and the trailing edge have been chamfered a little bit and that is for this wondrous thing called turf interaction. Again some people care about it and some people don't. You've got a hollow body design and the blade lengths etc have got a little bit bigger and by no stretch of the imagination is this a big golf club whatsoever. And then also we have got an interesting change with the shaft lengths. They are slightly longer in the mid to long irons and Callaway is saying that is because of the AI face and how controllable it is. You can get away with pushing shaft length a little bit to try and gain a bit more club head speed, a little bit more ball speed and then a little bit more distance with that fast A I face. We'll go get the simulator on. Let's go give this one a whack uh, into a green. We'll have a look at how it looks and feels, etc. I'll also be doing the test as I normally do when it comes to the forgiveness testing. When I do test out that AI face all around it, to see how well it works on off center hits. And also, I will be doing the testing at the end at 70 miles an hour, 80 miles an hour, and 90 miles an hour. Because remember, these are game improvement irons, and so they're told to be for moderately fast or moderate to fast swing speeds, which I have a slight issue with. Obviously, these are 28 degree lofted seven irons. So they are rather strong, shall we say. But right, let's go get this one into a green. Let's get the simulator on and see how well the AO smoke does. So simulator is now on. We are at Blue Bay or Bay O, Bay, wherever it is. It's hole three. It's normally a par four, but I've pushed the tee up to, yes, 187 yards. So at uh, 28 degrees, this thing is not far off my... Uh, my five iron. Looks wise though, they do say that this obviously is slightly bigger blade lengths, etc. But I'll tell you what, guys, it's not massive. This is a game improvement iron, which again directed at moderate to fast swing speed players. Not quite sure about that one. But um, again, we'll be able to see how far this goes when it comes to my moderately fast swing. Um, but the top lines on it is, yeah, they're, they're medium to thick. Again, sole thicknesses aren't small. We have blade lengths, I would say medium. There are definitely golf clubs out there with the bigger blade lengths, but um, an offset, if you put this one down by the golf ball. Yeah, I mean, it's got offset there, but it's by no stretch offensive. I do like the chrome on it though. I am a, a, a great fan of chrome. Right, it is hollow bodied. Let's go give it a hit and see how it feels. Let's see if we can kill, uh, keep working on my path. Not quite spot on, but you take that absolutely all day of the week. Slightly low on the face, don't go in. Oh wow, yeah. Five mil low, three mil hill, path again, slightly across. Yeah, work more, Jay. Um, face is 0 0.5 to that, uh, loft is 23.8 degrees, but uh, 37 yards in the air and 48.7 degrees ascent angle at 185. Uh, yeah, this is definitely going to be, if you're going to be putting this into the bag and you swing at my speed, this is a seven iron, it says seven on there, seven. Um, 185 yards of carry and I felt I didn't quite catch it. This could quite easily go 190 yards carry for me with a decent shot. And um, yeah, that's a bit far. My, my seven iron goes 164. This, this is 20 yards plus. There you go. So this is the problem when you're looking at um, moderate to fast swing speed players. If you have fast swing speed player and you're using this, um, you've got to be stopping and say at six iron because all six irons can be carrying over uh, 200 yards, not unless you want a full bag of like rocket ships. Uh, but then what Callaway do to make sure you haven't got ridiculous distances between irons, they've added an AW effectively. They've done the exact same thing what Ping have done in the G430. Um, obviously strengthened everything up, but then rather than having massive loft gaps and then huge distance gaps between irons, they've snuck in another wedge. So for me to get down to a lob wedge in this, I'll have to have five, five wedges. Yep, that's a lot. Right, 1.2 across that time. It's still if we can work on path a little without sacrificing strike too much. Well, sacrifice a little bit of control, shall we say. Oh my word. 
Club path is slightly better, but face is over-releasing. That's what happens when I'm trying to move path a little bit. Control goes, not to say out the window. I mean, it's still a decent shot. We're 12 yards away, which is not bad. Uh, 37 yards in the air and 47.7 degrees ascent angle at a carry of 193. <laughs> Right, one nine, that's mental. I mean, this is a, it says seven iron. So if you're gonna put this to moderate to fast swing speed players, I mean, that's just, I can understand you saying to moderate to slow. Bear in mind, this is very distance inspired. Again, we'll be doing the swing speed testing after this to see how functional it really is because these are strong rocket ships. I mean, 1.42 efficiency. I just saw that in quad as it flicked over. 1.42 efficiency 1.4 that so efficiency is a measure of bang for your buck that was four mil hill two mil high so effectively middle by a few millimeters 1.42 is mental for 24 degrees aloft this face this ai face is just wow i'll be interested to see how it works from not middle though definitely path again Now slightly over, overdone face again, but 1.43. Holy beep, beep, beep. Path is good, face is slightly over closing, one mil high, three mil toe, good shot. Uh, 40 yards in the air, 49 degrees descent angle, 193. I am swinging at 92, whatever something miles an hour, so I am faster than the 90 miles an hour that I'll be testing at. Wow, wow, wow. Now, 25 degrees aloft and 1.43, I don't think I've ever seen that, not from an iron. 1.43 is a mediocre driver on a quad, on a camera-based system. Obviously, track man's slightly higher, but they measure things at different, but I mean, that is just, I mean, feel, it's not soft, it's not loud from a point of view. There's some golf clubs, this is hollow bodied, uh, that sound like a hybrid or a wood. This doesn't, this still sounds like an iron. It's like proper confidence inspiring whack. I'll give you that. What was path on that one? Perfect, but I still need to move it more from the inside. No, that's left. That's me. There you go, that's what happens. There you go, uh, path 1.2 from the inside. However, as you can see, Lose a bit of control of the face when I'm trying to move my path a bit. 1.2 from the inside and 4.9 shut. That's got everything to do with me and absolutely nothing to do with the golf club. And this is my woes at the moment while I'm trying to move path. Um, as time's gone on for the people that haven't been watching me, I've been getting from zero, zero. I've been starting to move left and I don't like it. So I'm having to do a little bit of work in the background to try and move my path. And unfortunately, sometimes that creeps in. But you have to ignore that because that's me. Nothing to do with the golf club. It's either one or two happens, either my strike goes out the window or my face just over releases. One last one. Still doing the same thing. Path 0.8, still a cross zone, over close, but look at that thing fly. That is mental. So we captured a couple, though I was, my face was half good. Um, path of 0.8 and face over closed again. Um, wow. Like, wow. Right, one more. Let's see if I can just do the, the, get the face right. Face right, face right, face right, face right. That's just, it's like a gun going off this, is It's so addictive. That's better. Similar thing, but just slightly overclosed. I mean, it's just rocket shippy. Oh, come down off the hill, no. It's just a rocket ship, it really is. Path's better that time, 0.6 from the inside. Face is still going a little bit more. I need to dumb the grip off a little bit, or let's see if it's a pattern first. But four mil hill, three mil low. It's a decent strike, 38 yards in the air, 48 degrees ascent angle, 92 so odd miles an hour. So I need to dumb the speed down a little bit, even for the 90 mile an hour swing. So right, the Callaway, AI smoke, the middle, wow. Like properly, properly, Wow, that is a fast, fast golf club. Right, let's go give it a hit loads of times all around the face, not just fairly middle. Let's go see how that eye face works when you don't hit the middle, because then this is for a game improvement player. So game improvement people need help, apparently, when it comes to off center hit. So we're gonna go test that for sure. And then also do the test at three different swing speeds as well to see how well the AI smoke works in all different speed golfers' hands. 
So on the screen now, guys, you can see I've got the information for the 70, 80, and 90 mile an hour swing speeds. I wanna draw your attention to the carry, first of all. You've got 136, 161, and 184 yards. Yes, that is 184 yards with a seven iron at 90 miles an hour. That's um, 20 yards further than my seven iron, yeah. Uh, but look at the peak height and descent angle. The peak height and descent angle is a measure of how functional something is. So more so descent angle, how is that gonna go into a green? How steep? is that going into a green, what people call control. So you've got peak height of 18 when it comes to 70 miles an hour, 26 when it comes to the 80, uh, 80 miles an hour, and 34 yards when it comes to the 90 miles an hour. And descent angle goes 35 degrees, 42 degrees, and 46 degrees. Now 35 degrees, unless you're playing on a mud island green, that is not stopping with a seven iron. A seven iron is not stopping at 70 miles an hour. So really, if you were gonna have a set of irons of these, eight iron, generally speaking, would be your last golf club because, again, these are 28 degree lofted seven irons. These are not traditionally lofted seven irons. So you have to, I see this, as one degree weaker than my five. And so uh, at 80 miles an hour, it becomes functional. 42 degrees is fine. I would be having in the conversation if this was a fitting to say, really, should you be having a six? If you're gonna be having a six, you're gonna be in the same problems. Potentially going into the 30s descent angle and then you not being able to control it into a green. Now, when it comes to a 90 mile an hour swing going at 46 degrees, yes, you can definitely have a six iron. You may be able to go into a five, but bearing in mind guys, by a five iron, you are gonna be hitting that golf ball well over 200 yards as these things are fairly strong lofted. And that's my concern when you're talking about Callaway saying that these are moderate to fast swing speed players. You put this in my hands, I'm thinking the, the, the distance gaps between irons are gonna be quite big. And then also I've got five wedges to get down to a lob wedge. So it is a little bit crazy. So you can have a look at the clubhead data very, very quickly there to make sure everything is all above board. I've got 70 miles an hour, 80 miles an hour, 90 miles an hour all on there. You've got 1.40, 1.39, 1.39 on the efficiency. Four and a half down uh, to 4.1 or 4.0, so within half a degree. That's my attack angle all the same. Face and path, again, are very zero, zero and very, very close together. Loft, the most important thing on there is 23.1, 23.1 and 23.6, so within point five of a degree, half a degree of loft. I've married all the, and matched all the data sets. And then you've got within a very small margin with the exception, I suppose, of the last data set I did, the fast one, I am five mil toe. So again, that's um, the most varied of all of them on the faster one. But again, it's just a measure. I'm obviously collecting miss hit data in there as well. So let's talk about miss hits. Let's go see how well it does. Um, first of all, you need to understand how well it works out of the middle and I've got one out here out of the middle wow am I is there's one mil low that's it and zero mil toe bang on the middle face and path within reason zero obviously path's not but face was um 23.3 degrees of loft and look at that efficiency 1.42 like wow 1.42 I hit that and I'm looking at it I'm thinking beep 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 wow that's fast that face and it is, it is ridiculously fast. Now, the great thing about having a fast face is obviously we've got 188 yards of carry, which is basically my five iron um, within reason. And the problem though now happens with a fast middle, can they now make the outsides as fast as that middle or at least try and get the drop off as small as possible? Because that middle of that golf club is possibly one of the fastest golf clubs I have ever tested. How they do not make this face explode every single time you hit it, it must be so thin, I, it's just crazy. So let's go look at a heel first, a standard normal heel, nine mil heel, three mil low, just a normal heel. So 12 mil gross, which is nearly half an inch off the middle on the heel side and 1.39, which on, uh, it's, it's decent, 0 0.03 miss from a 12 mil gross heel uh, is actually pretty good. Let's move it a bit more now, 15 millimeters heel, uh, zero mil low. Again, face and path very zero zero, and loft is basically within 0.2 of a degree, exactly the same as what the maxed out was, 1.35. So we are now losing 0.07 
from a 15 millimeters heel. Now, okay, we are getting very close to the Shang, yep, that place, the Hosel Rockets. If you'd have given me a 1.35 on a normal face of the middle, and the middle was 1.39, I'd be saying 0.04 from 15 millimeters heel is really quite good. I mean, that's a, yeah, if you hit out the heel, this is definitely one of the golf clubs you wanna be testing. The problem is the middle is 1.42, and it kind of just, ekes the gap out a little bit. So it's now losing 0.07. But if you go nine mil low, let's go just a new normal nine mil low shot, zero mil toe, just nine mil low. Again, path and face very zero zero and lofts at 24 degrees, 1.36. And again, goes to the same thing. If you were gonna do a 1.36 from a nine millimeters low and the face is normally 1.39, you'd be saying that's really quite good. And that's really very well done. Um, it's just that face is so blooming fast. It's now got 0.06 drop off from a nine mil low. Now a nine mil low is still low on the face. It's a thin, but it's nowhere near a top. And so I would expect it to get a little bit closer to the maxed out than 0.06. Again, Callaway, if you're listening, what you need to do next time is do exactly the same thing that you've just done well and dumb the middle down. If you just dumb the middle down, it, you'd probably make one of the most forgiving golf clubs on the planet on the basis of the fact that the outsides are pretty good. It's just that the middle, the middle so, so fast and in and around middle is so, so fast that it kind of distorts the forgiveness figures a little bit. Let's just go a normal toe. So it's slightly more than a normal toe. 10 mil toe would have been ideal. And I, I caught someone's at nine mil toe and stuff like that. It's just that the uh, face and loft delivery wasn't perfect for me to be able to capture. This is moving on a little bit further, 14 mil now, uh, three mil low, so 17, nearly three quarters of an inch uh, gross off the middle. Again, path and face very zero zero, and we have a loft of 22 degrees. So about a degree and a half or so uh, less loft than the maxed out one. So as soon as you take loft off, you're always gonna be adding a little bit of efficiency. So it's 1.38. In realm of reasoning, that's gonna be 1.37 if you add a little bit of loft with degree and a half or so. And so 1.37, you're losing 0.05. Absolutely fine. It's, as soon as you go 10 mil toe, you're up well into the near 1.4, so it's doing really well again. But you can see, as soon as you start moving, now we're nearly three quarters of an inch off the middle, it now starts to come away. If you go a little bit further now, 21 millimeters off the middle, 20 mil toe, one mil low. Again, path and face very zero zero, and the loft is bang on again, 23.1 degrees, 0.2 off of max, 1.34. So we're losing now 0.08. So it is a considerable drop, and so, this is the consideration that you have to think about when it comes to these paradigm AI smoke irons as a conclusion. When it comes to the forgiveness, let's just do the forgiveness first as a, uh, a conclusion to it. If you're gonna be in and around the middle, again, these are game improvement irons, remember guys, when it comes to Callaway's marketing of these, these are game improvement irons. One of the best, if not the fastest faces I think I have ever tested, and especially is every iron that comes out in 2024 is gonna be doing blooming well to keep up with this paradigm AI smoke iron out of the middle and in and around the middle, absolutely. When it moves around though, we do see drop-offs and bigger drop-offs than what we see normally because of that middle is so fast. That's the big thing, the middle is so fast. Performance-wise, it's just doing really well. Peak heights and descent angles, especially you guys, you're gonna have to keep an eye on. If you're gonna be getting custom fit for these, you've gotta keep an eye on your peak heights and descent angles, what point you need to come away from whatever seven irons or six irons or an eight iron, depending on how fast your swing speed is to try and make sure that you're not getting into a green like a ballistic missile trajectory and having no control when that golf ball hits the putting surface. Looks and feel, that's the great thing of subjectivity. It's not objective, it's subjective. What I like and what you like are two completely different things. I'm a great fan of the chrome. I'm a chrome lover. I'm not too fan of the the AI smoke bit at the back, that just looks to me, it just looks like it's dirty and I keep on wanting to clean it and it still stays dirty. As a game improvement iron, it is not massive, which I quite like. Feel-wise, it is a bit punchy. Of course, it is a hollow body. It will be a little bit more punchy than most. But then again, if you look at the blades of the world, the blades of the world is gonna be the softest, dullest feeling ones. And then you get the super game improvement irons like the hybrid heads, which make an all, well, a lot of time, a god awful noise. And so for people that care about feel, there you go. For the people that don't care about feel, just ignore everything that I just said. Hope you liked the video, if you did, 
thumbs up, go on YouTube like so do I. Down there is a subscribe button, it's free, and it's great for the channel if you could subscribe, so thank you. And next to that is a bell icon, that's a notification bell. If you click that one, that will notify you next time I upload another video. So I hope you're well, and we'll see you again soon.